10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Command engine start. 2, 1. If you look on the bottom right hand Starting side of your program. screen, you'll be able to follow along for the timing as NS 36 Engine heads towards the pressure common line. looks good. Ten thousand feet in climbing. Beginning throttle down for Q limiting. A little bit of a cloudier day out in West Texas today, but you can still see New Shepard. Max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. On your screen there, you can see the, uh, the telemetry on the left-hand side bar. You can follow the... Flight trajectory today, and the bottom you can watch the speed and the altitude climb. Engine back up to full throttle. That BE3 all the way at full throttle. Chamber pressure looking good. Passing 70,000 feet and climbing. Now, as you see on your screen, if it does go black and white, we're using infrared imaging to see through the clouds. But right there, that is a shot from the booster looking Astronaut back down on West Texas. Max Beginning throttle down, stand by Miko. Stand by Miko. Stand by Miko. We hear some happy astronauts. Miko confirmed. And Miko is confirmed Stand that his main separation. engine cut off. Stand by separation. Stand by separation. Separation confirmed. Separation is confirmed. There you have it. Separation is confirmed. Our astronauts are experiencing zero Gs. As you can see, now we have two bars for tracking our two vehicles. We've got the booster on the left and the capsule on the right as they both continue their ascent to their apogee. Astronauts are experiencing zero G and doing all sorts of fun stuff up there, taking photos, capsule looking out the window. Good. Great long range camera shot there, both the capsule and the booster. We found a break in the clouds. Three minutes, 15 seconds into flight. Man, they are having a good time up there, wow. up there, aren't they? Yeah. Wow. And now just go have fun, guys. Oh, Let's go have fun, have guys. Fun. <laughs> wow, look at that. Look at that. Wow. Brush your legs. Passing the Carmen line. Wow. As you can okay, hear, we just guys. passed the Carmen line. Wow. Wow. You just float there like nothing's there. <laughs> wow. Looking out those big windows amongst the biggest ever flown in space, larger than a 747 window. Capsule has reached Apogee, 350,438 feet. Apogee has reached, which means they are making their way back down towards West Texas. The booster will land first, about two miles from the launch site on our landing pad. Four minutes, 30 seconds into flight. Booster descending past 330,000 feet.
Now those astronauts are probably making their way slowly back to their seat to get strapped one in. Warning. One Capsule warning. body very phenomenal. Yep, we just heard their one minute warning. That's right. We're T plus five minutes into NS 36. Our 15th human flight. We're hearing a little bit from inside the capsule. Our Astro soaking up every second. Astronauts returning to seats. Booster descending nominal. Booster descending nominal means everything is looking good. Capsule reached atmospheric pierce point. Now as the capsule re-enters the atmosphere, those astronauts are strapped in and uh, being pushed into their seat with increasing Gs, which Confirmed. ensures Booster an exciting moment deploy. as they come back down to Earth. Sounds like we have deployed our aerodynamic control surfaces on the booster, which help guide and steer it back to the landing pad autonomously. Astronauts experiencing max Gs. We are six and a half minutes into NS-36. You're looking at a camera from New Shepard's booster back down to West Texas as it makes its way to the landing pad. A little bit of cloud cover today out in West Texas. Booster drag brakes deployed. Just about to hit 10,000 feet. Approaching engine restart. There you hear the sonic boom, you see the engine relight. Engine restart confirmed. Beautiful shot. Landing legs Landing deployed. Boosted the sense on there. Booster touchdown. And we have booster touchdown. Great Welcome shot. home, New Shepard Booster. Starting booster auto safing. Always a sight to see, never gets old, always an incredible moment here, landing that booster perfectly on our landing pad, getting ready to auto safe it and uh, shortly take it back to the barn. For our viewers who might be new here, what does auto safing mean? Oh, it just means that uh, we're making sure that the, the vehicle is, uh, is ready for people to get close to it and make sure that it's ready to go back to the barn and complete its maintenance before that's, the next flight. That's true. We do have a tradition here where we like to take a picture 10, with the booster. Feet. The team does after our uh, flight. We have reacquired a picture of the capsule. There it is. Going through some clouds. Yeah, that's going to make for a fun experience capsule for astronauts. Capsule deployment confirmed. Drogues confirmed. The drogues pull out the main parachutes. Capsule main parachute deployment confirmed. And there you have it. Beautiful All three parachutes. reefing, looking beautiful confirmed. against the cloudy West Texas good. sky. Capsule landing zone is within expected range limits. I love those drone shots. Now, while the parachutes are essential in providing a gentle touchdown, it is also, we also have a retro thrust system on the base of the capsule, which will make the final touchdown even smoother. You'll expect to see capsule a little poof of dust as we land. That is all very, very normal. That's right. It slows the capsule to about one mile per hour just before it lands in the West Texas desert. Just about to reach a thousand feet. Look how green that West Texas desert yeah. is. It must have been raining there recently. I was just about to say. Nine and a half TDS minutes into enabled. flight.
Wow. That looks like a, a new cover photo to me. Gosh, beautiful. So pretty. What a day to fly, too. Getting a little audio from our astronauts. Stand by touchdown. Stand by touchdown. Capsule touchdown. And we have a touchdown. Welcome back, Space Nomad. Auto safing start. Welcome home in S36. Always incredible to see a great, easy touchdown for our new Shepard crew capsule. Now our capsule recovery team is currently en route to meet the, uh, the astronauts in the capsule. They're going to safe the capsule and get ready to open that hatch. Now, safing the capsule essentially means they're making sure everything is good to go, that the parachutes are uh, safe, that no one's going to trip over anything, making sure